Donald Trump, first 100 days, how do you think he's done? Horrible. Uh, he's kind of a He's uh, really just a liar. Like, pathologically, it's kind of insane. As of just recently, he's done a little bit of work that's not exactly beneficial to Planned Parenthood. We're a little wary of what's coming up. It's kind of scary <laughs> seeing, every, like, um, you know, you wake up every morning and then you see something ridiculous. And I'm surprised that with things he lies about, he has not been impeached or whatever, because, I mean, Bill Clinton was impeached for line. Uh, Trump recently went on uh, what was called an apology tour to countries like Egypt and Saudi Arabia, yeah. basically apologizing for the past eight years and saying, yeah. you know, there's a new sheriff in town, this old stuff's not going to fly. Him apologizing like that to the other countries, is it something that, uh, you know, you would like to see him stop doing? Oh, for sure. I really think he kind of overstepped his bounds. I think he's just trying to fix band-aids at this point, and it's not really working for him, so I think it's a bad thing for him. You know, you have to carry the image of the U.S., and he hasn't done that so well. The people he's apologizing to are not people he should be apologizing to. Saudi Arabia, the Gulf monarchies, dictatorships everywhere. I don't think it was up to him to apologize on behalf of a nation, especially with such opposition to him within the nation. He recently has been talking about a $700 billion jobs plan. He would tax people and then use that money to try and use the government to help create jobs. So is that something that you view positively or negatively? Um, gotta say, it kind of would be a little, definitely a more negative. So how is that going to help us if, you know, he's raising and creating jobs for people that aren't trying to get a higher education? Like Knowing that Donald Trump is the one proposing it probably means there's like some turd in the punch bowl somewhere. Like him bringing jobs, I just don't really see that happening. Using the government to do what states would do, that kind of goes against the whole platform. Really reminiscent of um, Wiemer, Germany, mm. uh, when there was a lot of hatred of foreigners taking jobs. I mean, same types of rhetoric. What's the shirt? Oh, this is just a communism shirt, man. Gotta love the hammer and sickle. <laughs> Gotta collectivize the means of production. The final um, thing that Trump has done is he changed some of the statutes of limitations on um, court cases. So um, basically making it easier for people to sue each other. Um, what do you think about that? Um, being in a law class right now, I, I don't like it at all. I think it would directly benefit Trump because Trump is a businessman by cutting down on regulations. He says it's for one reason, but it's just, I just don't see him helping. That's pretty upsetting. I also think it's kind of ridiculous how he wants to, he was saying, loosen up the libel laws. Mm -hmm. I think it would make him money in the long run because I don't really think he's in it for the presidency. Like, I think he's in it for his own like personal gain. There's so many conflicts of interest and unanswered questions there. What if I told you? <laughs> All the things I was asking about were actually things that Obama did in his first 100 days. Oh, wow. Oh, wow.